So for the last two years, I've tried to make an ODR in my backyard, but if you're from Vancouver, you know that the temperatures get super cold maybe once a year, and super cold can be like minus one, minus two sort of thing. But this Christmas, I hear minus eight. So we're gonna try to give the rink a go for the third time now, third year we're trying this, and uh, I'm really confident we're gonna skate this year. I've got a game plan. We're heading down to Rona right now, getting what we need, and uh, we'll build the frame today. When you're building an outdoor rink, one really important thing is you gotta have a nice level spot. My backyard isn't very level at all, but I feel like this will be our best shot right here. So we got the eight by eight frame together. I don't have a chop saw, so it's not necessarily gonna be all that square. That's well, not terrible, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. It's an eight by eight rink. So again, I'm just building the frame today. It's too warm to flood. I'll be flooding in a couple days. I hear it's gonna be like negative eight or something, which is insane because Vancouver doesn't get to negative eight too often. And uh, we're hoping for some good ice. We'll see you in a couple days. So I've decided that I'm gonna start the flood early. It's currently seven degrees right now, but it's supposed to get to freezing temperatures tonight. So we're gonna throw this $20 Canadian tarp in, fill her up, and uh, hopefully we get some ice soon. So I've clamped down the tarp as best I can with all the clamps that I have in my house and now it's time to get out the hose and start flooding. So again, this is my third year trying the rink and last year I tried something different, which was just misting it and just gradually putting the layers on and that worked quite well. But this year I'm not gonna do that just because we're expecting minus 18, which is insane for Vancouver. So I'm just gonna put it all in at once and uh, see how it goes. And then we just go along and we just kinda push things down a little bit. Make sure the water gets all across. I think I gotta let off some tension there. So we're to bring this down a little bit. I don't want the last thing I want is the tarp to rip and then the water to flood the whole backyard. I almost forgot something very important. Oh, there we go. Now I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I have no idea how anybody forgets the Lucky Looney. Looking good. Low side's looking pretty good. Just gotta build the high now. So I was just doing some measuring. The rule of thumb is you need at least two inches of ice to skate on, and we're getting close. This seems to be the highest side, and over here seems to be the lowest, so yeah. So once that side, gets to two inches, so I'm gonna shut her off and uh, we'll let mother nature do her thing right there. Well, that's close enough for me, we're gonna shut her off now and uh, let her freeze. 
And just before I wrap up here for today, I flipped the clamps around so I'm not walking into this and killing myself. So it is currently Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're gonna check on the rink. It snowed overnight. This is a ton of snow for Vancouver, so let's check out the rink. Yeah, so it appears to be still a little slushy, so we're just gonna let her sit. We're not gonna touch it, and we're gonna continue to wait for it to freeze. It is December 27th right now. Far right corner of the rink cracked. We just decided to leave it, but I'm gonna try and clear it off and uh, gradually build her up today. So I scraped as much as I can here, but uh, we still have some pretty big bumps. So I would normally do the finishing layer a bit later, but I think I'm gonna get some hot water on this thing right away. So it's still a pretty rough surface, but I think I'm just gonna keep slowly adding hot water and just kinda building it up from there and uh, we'll see how that goes. So what I decided to do now is I'm doing about a half bucket of water because I want to try and build up the rink a little faster than I am. Hope to do a flood every maybe half hour instead of hour. Come on, focus, camera, focus. As you guys can see, the rink is a little bumpy, but we're trying to knock those out. There's one smooth section right there. That's the smooth section. So every 20 minutes for the last couple hours, I've been adding a half bucket of water to the rink just to help fill it because I didn't get a good flood right off the bat and this seems to be helping quite a bit. So as you guys can see, the high spots are still there, but the low spots are filling up really nice. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So it is the morning of December 28th and I think we're finally ready for a test skate. No idea where my mitts are. I think they're in store somewhere, not worth getting, but uh, we're gonna try the rink out. they say third time's a charm well first year I fell in second year I fell in and third year first time I'm actually able to skate in my own backyard in Vancouver British Columbia where it doesn't get cold but it just goes to show the weather's got to agree with you to have something like this I know it's only 8 by 8 but uh, can't wipe the smile off my face I'm so happy after a fun couple minutes Scrape off some of the snow, and we'll do a flood. I need an edger. I don't have an edger. Maybe next Christmas. I'm going out for the day today, so I've decided to do a full bucket of hot water. And just like that, we're flooded. So unfortunately, the weather's starting to warm up a bit, so I think this is gonna be the final skate out on the ice. I've got all the goalie gear, I've got all my lights. We're gonna make it a good one.
unfortunately we're gonna have to cut this last skate a little short. The ice is getting a bit soft right now. I could hear it cracking and I don't wanna damage the tarp in case I get to use it for 2021. And sorry, I'm trying to be a little quiet right now because it's 1130 at night and you know how neighbors be, right? So that boot does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys haven't had a chance to build an outdoor rink, I sure hope you get a chance to do so because it's so much fun and it's so rewarding, even if it's only eight by eight. I'm Nick the Goalie. Thanks for watching.